okay, for me, I was talking to a pastor. I like this pastor. It was, you know, the probably the easy way out would have been for me to, you know, lie about my past or things that I had done, um, a lot of those things. But I was transparent, right? Because there's no point, you know, hiding I mean, and going through corners. Which, which, which it comes back to purposeful dating. I'm, yes. If I'm going to end up with, end this, up with person, this person, I want I them to know well me just inside know. out. Yeah. We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> All right. So, welcome to the next episode or the next session of the Q and A yeah. series. Okay. Let's just go right into it. This question is a bit. Uh, this is directly to us, so it's personal. This is about us. So. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and read it. So, uh, the question says, "You both dated for a pretty short time. How were you so sure about each other? What What is the ideal length for dating?" dating? That's quite like a lot of questions put together. together. Okay, <laughs> so let's one. just take it one by let's one. Let's take one by one, yeah. Okay, this one is just a statement, actually. It's not a question. It says, you both dated for a pretty short time. Yes. Should we talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we dated for, I think, seven months. Yeah. Well, five we months. Met, so this is the timeline. We met. We first. We started talking in. Um, we first started talking like phone conversation and text April. in April. Like April first, first, actually. April, first of April. <laughs> then we, we became official. I asked you out towards the end of June, became official in July, then I proposed in December. Yeah, so, so we dated for July to August, August, September. That's, that's about six September. months. Yeah, Less about, just about around six Five, months. Six Five, six months, months or so. Yeah, so. So, now then we got married, we got married in, in ma- March, March. March 3rd. Yeah. So, yes, we just actually dated for a pretty short while. Yeah. The person is right. Um, so, then the person so said, How are you so sure about each other? So let me first let me first talk to the the fact that we dated for a short time. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of times it's not necessarily the length of the relationship but the quality of the relation of yeah. the dating. Then you use relationship, you use dating, you know. So at the end of the day, I think it boils down to um asking the right questions. Yeah, absolutely. Right. If you spend quality time you know, instead of doing all that things that you're not supposed to be doing, like, like it yeah. takes it like it literally eats up and swallows up the time yeah. that you're supposed to spend. Yeah, you know, asking each other those important yeah. Yeah. questions and getting to know each other. You know, questions that basically getting to know the um, the things that will make you that will help you make an informed decision on yeah. whether to you know continue dating this person or if this person is perfect enough for you to get married to yeah right so at the end of the day what are you doing mm-hmm. for us april to june was a period of intense conversations like and a lot of times what even determines others like still answering your question is we both came in with pretty clear intention yes at that point and one thing is thank you for mentioning that you don't go into dating right see i used to be in that school of thought of oh you can date even you know as a teenager i mean uh, just you know test the waters right i used to be in that school of thought but it's actually not right because you just end up accumulating more hurt than you should yeah yes so don't go into dating without seeing the clear, uh, without 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 the without marriage without, without, without goal in view yeah yeah so yes, yeah of course yeah. not say oh i must marry this person but you're checking like can i marry this person is this person, yeah. this person yeah. good enough for me so right? like I, w- I will only date you if you're someone i can marry not of course i must marry you so all that will help you be more clear so because dating time, this person more context dating this person will help you know them better absolutely. right so you along the way you can now decide oh yeah so for, just go ahead or not so for me when i met her i was in this i was in this phase of actively looking for someone to marry because uh, of course I'm, i would not be ashamed of it i wanted i was ready to get i was ready to settle down i was ready to marry even as much as i I am an advocate for not waiting till you like it's serious in front of you because a lot of times you can now settle you're in a hurry. But I was at this stage or the phase where I was ready, like I wanted to marry. So I wasn't looking for just somebody to while away time with us. I wasn't for someone to just go catch movies, you know, do cute things. I was intentional. I wanted somebody that I could marry, such that my first date question with her, not even first dates, my first few call conversation where can you marry a 30-year-old pastor 
like we still get to know each other but see? i wanted to like i wanted <laughs> see, this might, this yeah, might want, sound yeah. oh okay this is very good but at that point in time to me even as i'm saying in that i ask, ask the important questions yeah. at some point in time surely at the beginning this wasn't yeah. before we started dating yeah. yeah it felt like oh, why is this man giving me exam questions like, but the question why are you drilling me but I, <laughs> like i didn't want to waste my time i didn't want to wait till after we've gone on three dates five dates and i realized that actually you, you don't want to you don't want to marry a pastor or i'm too old for you or mm-hmm. like i don't want to wait that time so a lot of times when you approach dating with a purpose it saves you time yeah imagine your as you're waiting till the to after three months of talking stage before you ask person the general type what are you doing i actually even have my my my, my um, this is very personal to me yeah. because it happened to my friend right she was with this great guy and she was even sure see in fact knowing is even <laughs> the first thing yeah. right some people don't even know their general type but they're not sure about it yeah. so she wasn't sure about it at first but she sort of suspected you know that she was yes and she already started talking to this guy i think they were far gone at four i think they are already talking for like four months or they're about so they were already they're already in the stage of saying okay what next yeah. let's start a relationship yeah. before she eventually did the test and you know found out that she was yeah. so this actually this is actually very important yeah so if because it happens yeah. more often yes. than we actually think yes. and she was she got to the point she got to a point i don't know if it was her or the guy and i think either one of them was like should we still continue so don't just don't make your don't let yourself get to that point yes before because yeah. he's as as well so yeah. that was actually a very he never joked with like yes on, no matter how much how much crush he had on the person on the first date like i'm going to ask you because I've, I've, to ask. I've had so many like uh, there was somebody i was with it was after your, about was it your year. nyc no 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 no. it was before then wow. like I, I was i chased the person for more than a year before i finally asked the person for their general type so that time emotion had built time time as we as we wasted. wasted so like we said back to it's not how long it's how well yeah. so for us all through the six months we did we went to went out on the, on like l- proper evening dates twice i'm not saying this should be the, the, same, for the everybody. same for everybody but but the thing, we actually spent time together a lot but we spent most of those time talking you know being in each other's space learning about each other was more of the depth than just the the i don't know give me the word well i, I don't know the word but I'm not to try like, to explain. Yeah. don't be so obsessed with the idea of dating so much that you forget like, oh my god the goal. we went to this place oh, where are we going to next <laughs> <laughs> right don't be so obsessed that you forget the goal you forget the purpose of yeah. you know this dating relationship yeah so so back to the question um so they said how are we so sure about each other still back to it number one is the conversations we had mm-hmm. helped us and and beyond having these conversations please be transparent yeah. because okay for me i was talking to a pastor i like this pastor it was you know the probably the easy way out would have been for me to you know lie about my past or things that i had done um, a lot of those things but i was transparent right because there's no point you know hiding I mean, and going through which, which which it comes back to purpose to dating I'm, yes. if i'm going to end up with, end this, up with person, this person i want them I might to as know well just inside them out know. yeah yeah be transparent with this person as they're asking the questions we'll, we'll make another video about how much of your sexual past should you tell yeah, that's actually and that's what uh, we're going to make another video about that yeah. so uh, so back to it we're so sure about that from all the conversations we had for instance i remember the very first time we spoke i, I just generally just posted online oh no that are there people that still want to be housewives in 21st century and when i saw her answer of course she didn't say she wants to be a housewife but she was like see she said she doesn't mind but she wants to be a present mother said she wants to be a the a kind of per, a, a pattern that is p- present to raise her children and like i don't want to be away and, I, and, she, and she said she's making the right decisions and investments for her to be such because most housewives end up being liability you know so when she said all that i was like this person asking so we were sure about each other from the conversations we had from no please you, you deserve it you deserve you deserve your flowers you know so that was how we were sure about each other. like our, our values aligned mm-hmm. our values aligned we both loved god you know I, I, like it was obvious this person loved god for herself not for me our values aligned our boundaries aligned so all those things 
might not matter for some people. We kind of had similar upbringing, you know, maybe maybe not to the details, but like we just kind of gelled. So all those things informed being sure of each other. We're going to make another video of questions to ask, you know, before before you say yes. I think we like, actually already have, but we can just you we, know. We would go more details into it. So, so it was the last. Question. What's the ideal length of dating? There's no ideal length of dating, yeah. but at the same time. Please don't date someone for seven years because at the end of the day, if you date someone for that long, you are exposing yourself to one. You're exposing yourself to temptation. To temptation, There's no way you date a for lot seven of years it. and you'll be in the same place and you won't be yeah. touching things and doing stuff. So please don't I, do I, that. Another thing is you you're tying down a old human being. Yes. So if like if it Im- takes that long yeah. for you to make up your mind, then there's no see if I date you, right? Um, um, how old am I? <laughs> if I date you for seven years, probably be 32, 33, 34, 35, and you're still not sure if she wants to get married to me. I'm sorry, like, even if, if you eventually you propose, even, I don't think I'll even say yes to you. You should even wait for that long because it, it, what are you of your asking? Life what are you gone. talking about? What exactly yeah. are you doing for that long? See, I think, but also, of course, I know people that dated for um that long, and that's because they started dating. You know, in school. Yes, I, I know. I know. So I that know. that actually. And, and know, I have friends that decided dating in their two hundred level, three hundred level school. But even when they started dating, they had this level of maturity and intentionality. Mm-hmm. They were like, "See, we are getting married. Like, we love each other. They were even involved in each other's life and you know, partnership and even in like careers and everything. Such that, and the reason why they stayed that long was maybe uh, one of them traveled, you know, for postgraduate. So they were together for a while. By the time you know they got back together, so that makes sense. So that's a different the, case. The, the, the intentionality and the like, they were not still trying to figure out whether I want to marry this person or not. They mm-hmm. had decided right from the bat. So, but in that case, I think after a year, you should know whether you would you want to marry this person, this or, not. person or not. And if after one year, you are you've not had that conversation of, babe, are we doing this? Are we getting married? Yes, we're getting married. Then I think you should start questioning the relationship. Except maybe you're just still 16, 17. Because that's not even... I'm sorry, that's not... I'm, I'm not even sure that's the right person to even be with. Because marriage is is full of decisions. decisions. Yeah. So if you can't even make up your mind about, you know, marrying me, you take seven years for you to decide that, then... I don't know. <laughs> you're not even the one for me. So there's no ideal, you know, length. Yeah. for dating there's there's no ideal length but make sure you don't take longer like than even if you date this person for two years and the person still hasn't proposed these are things you talk about no no you and right? the, no, so, the thing is you will know why mm-hmm. you know you why. could buy that so, finances yes. or, or maybe you're having issues with one of the maybe one one side of one side of um the, maybe his parents are not yes you will know about you will know you will know that so it's you not no there's always a reason yeah, you know that it's not because the person is still trying to Make decide, a decision about right. you. Mm-hmm. You know that it's not because the person is not prioritizing that aspect of their life, and you know, you know what they're just going with the winds, and just you know that it's because there's something they are working on. I can see their actions and their steps. To you know, actually, gearing towards to that direction. To, getting to you know, say you know what I want to you know I want to get a level of um edu- I want to get to a level in my education. You see, they're applying to the school. You know, they're actually taking the courses. They're going to classes. You know, uh, there's this saying that I got from TJX is easy to wait for someone when you know that they are coming. Mm-hmm. So it's easy to wait for the partner when you see that they are taking the steps, that taking the actions to make sure that they're ready for you, and they're constantly also affirm and communicate it. See, babe, we're going to do this. You know, just give me time. Oh, babe. When this forever, and there are other things in even their life that would show this, you know. Yes. Do you, you have you met your family? Have you met moves. your friends? Yeah, they constantly make moves. Yeah. You know to show you that yes, like I'm not just saying this. These are not just words. I mean it, yeah. and this is going to happen. So yes. Um. Yeah. I hope, right. that's actually I hope, yes. hope that answers, <laughs> answers the question. question. You know, if you still have more questions on this, put it in the comment section. We're definitely going to address address it, and we have more questions to cover. Um, sex, marriage, dating. So please ask us a question. Feel free. I would love to uh, to them. see you and another video. Remember to share this. Many people actually need the answer to this question. Yes. So share this, like the video, subscribe. Bye. Bye bye.